if you guys haven't seen Inuyashiki uh, this season of the fall anime lineup, I suggest you put the shit down, whatever you're fucking doing right now, even this video, and go fucking watch it. If you're still here, let me tell you about what the fuck it is, okay? This shit is a fucking sleeper, okay? I did not know this shit was going to be this motherfucking good. I put that on my life. I did not know this motherfucking shit was going to be this good. So, the animation-wise is fantastic as far as uh, CGI, because I've seen some fucking shitty ass CGI work, but this CGI is actually pretty fucking amazing. So right off the back, CGI is fucking amazing. I think we're on episode five right now or four, but this is this started uh, later than the other anime that are actually are pretty good this year. But this shit is crazy. Okay, so the background is a 58 year old man who tends to look a, well a lot older than what he really is. He looks like a fucking the Colonel from fucking KFC. So basically. He's this 50 year old man who doesn't have any fucking, um, uh, uh, anything good going for him in his life right now. His family all talk down on him. They're not appreciative of what he did. He actually built a fucking house for them. Uh, and kids, ungrateful. Kids getting picked up in school, takes it out on him. Uh, and it turns out, and he, he has cancer. So he has cancer one day, <clears throat> goes to the doctor. They said he has cancer. Fucking confirmed. So, he's trying to be a strong-willed guy, but, you know, he's, he's kind of an old man, man. You you see him, you're like, oh, man, you feel bad for him, you know what I'm saying? So, he doesn't want to cry from his family, so he runs out. Now, he runs out there, goes to the fucking field, and he cries with the dog. And then this one we're introduced to, uh, basically, a plot that isn't revealed yet, but uh, aliens crash onto the, uh, the planet. So, when they crash onto the planet... <clears throat> uh, it was an accident. So there, the whole thing is, they. I think they potentially killed him, but at the same time, they had technology to bring him back. So they brought him back, and basically before he died, I've got to tell you, tell you this, there was this guy that was there uh, with him that was like next to him when he was crying with the dog. So basically, uh, he died too, and then the aliens brought them back to life. Like, reanimated them and reconstructed them differently with, like, amazing fucking body parts and shit. And they're fucking strong as fuck. Shoot them. You can shoot with your hands and all this fucking crazy-ass robot shit, okay? So, they tend to leave. After that, they're never seen again so far in this fucking series. So, I'm thinking it's going to be, like, this regular, comedic, oh, da da da, -da oh, you're awesome, adventure anime. Bitch, no the fuck it ain't. This shit is gory and fucking psychotic as fuck. Fuck, that dude that was there is a fucking killer. Now brace yourself, this is fucking mature. This is, this is for mature motherfuckers, okay? The dude reminds me of Death Note, but a fucking killer. He gets his hands dirty, okay? I'm not lying to you, this dude is psychotic. We were dealing with a fucking psychotic killer, and this shit is hella entertaining. And so far, the old man has to... I, got, I can see already through this plot right now. The old man is going to have to fight him and stop him. This... He's killing babies. He's going into houses, killing babies. He has no emotions. What the fuck? The aliens gave this motherfucker the wrong power. Both of them has powers now, and this shit is fucking crazy. I swear to God, you guys need to go watch this shit. I forgot what studio is coming out of, but I think this is a new studio. I'm not entirely sure, but Inuyashiki, go watch this shit, man. I'm out.